All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at um, all the odd numbered questions. So I want f of g of 2. So that means that I want, oops, I want f of 3 times 2 minus 5. And my 2 looks funny. Which is f of 6 minus 5, which is f of 1. And then f of 1 is 2 times 1 squared plus 1, which is equal to 3. And then I want um, f of g of x, so that's f of 3x minus 5, which is 2 times 3x minus 5, the quantity squared plus 1, which is, I'm going to multiply that out, so if I had like 3x minus 5, 3x minus 5, um, that would be, let's see, uh, 9x squared minus 30x plus 25, and then plus 1. So then I would get um, 18x squared minus um, 60x. And then I would get plus 51. That would be 2 times 25, and then the add the 1. Okay, and then g of f of x would be g of 2x squared plus 1, which is 3 times 2x squared plus 1, which is 6x squared plus 3. And then f of f of negative 2 is f of... 2 times negative 2 squared plus 1, which is f of, let's see, 4, 8 plus 1, which is 9. So then that is 2 times 9 squared plus 1. So that's 2 times 81 plus 1, um, which is 163. Okay, and then question three, so f of g of x is f of g of x, which is 7 over x plus 6, which is 1 over 7 over x plus 6, and then minus 6, which is 1 over 7 over x which is x over 7. And then f of g of x is, or sorry, g of f of x, I'm sorry, is g of 1 over x minus 6, which is uh, 7 over x minus 6 plus 6. So 7 plus 6 times x minus 6 over x minus 6. And then I get 7 plus 6x minus 36, all over x minus 6, um, which is 6x minus 29 over x minus 6. And then, let's see, f of g of x again, so f of x plus 1 over x cubed, which is the cube root of x plus 1 over x cubed, which is the cube root of x plus 1 over x. And then, um, and then g of f of x is g of the cube root of x. So that is the cube root of x plus 1 over the cube root of x cubed which is the cube root of x plus 1 over x. And then f of g of x plus 3, that's h of x, is f of 1 over x plus 3, which is 1 over x plus 3, the quantity squared, plus 1, which is 1 over x plus 3, the quantity squared, plus 1, which is 1 over x plus 3, the quantity squared, 
plus x plus 3, the quantity squared over itself. So I get 1 plus x plus 3, the quantity squared over x plus 3, the quantity squared, which is 1 plus x squared plus 6x plus 9 over x plus 3, the quantity squared, which is x squared plus 6x plus 10 over x plus 3, the quantity squared. Okay, and then... 9. So I want to pull out my um, f of x and g of x out of here. So I could say that so I could say that uh, my g of x is equal to x minus 5 and my f of x is equal to 3 over x, because I would be taking this x minus 5 and plugging it in there. Um, here, my uh, g of x would be equal to x plus 2, and my f of x oops, could be 4 over x squared. And there could be a couple of different like variations of this, so it doesn't have to be you know one hundred percent exact. I just want to show you like an inside and an outside function. So like my g of x is my inside function, and my f of x is my outside function. Okay, and then thirteen would be um, f of x would be like the cube root of x. And my g of x could be 1 over 2x minus 3. And then f of x, which is would the, be the outside function, is the fourth root of x. And my inside function could be 3x minus 2 over x plus 5. And then my f of x, again, could be my outside function of x cubed. And then my g of x would be 5x minus 1. I have a lot of these today. Okay, so then 19, um, f of x could be the absolute value of x, and then g of x would be x squared plus 7. And then 21, uh, my f of x could be 1 over x cubed, and my g of x could be x minus 2. And then f of x would be at root x, and g of x would be 2x minus 1 over 3x. Oops. 3x plus 4. And that is it for all the odd-numbered questions.